सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर एट एथिक्स इन स्पोर्ट्स एट पॉइंट फोर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एथिक्स द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू एनश्योर ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एथिक्स बिलोंग्स टू ऑल दोज हु आर डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली एसोसिएटेड विद स्पोर्ट्स and especially those who influence and encourage the involvement and participation in sports these include governments at all levels including the agencies working with governments page number 113 sports related organizations including sports federations and governing bodies sports sponsoring concerns physical education associations coaching agencies and institutes medical and pharmacological professions and mass media the commercial sector including sports goods manufacturers and retailers sponsoring concerns and marketing agencies and individuals including parents teachers coaches referees officials sports leaders physical education expert administrators journalists doctors and pharmacists and those role models who have achieved levels of sporting excellence and fame those who work on a voluntary or on a professional basis individuals may also have responsibilities in their capacity as spectators each of these institutions and individuals have a responsibility and a role to play this code of sports ethics is addressed to each one of them this can be effective if all involved in sports are ready to take on the responsibility identified in the code 8.4.1 government government has the following responsibilities to encourage and follow ethical standards in all areas of society where sports are conducted to improve controls with regard to integrity and ethics in funding of amateur and leisure sport to stimulate and support those organizations and individuals who have demonstrated ethical principles in their sport related activities to cooperate in promoting and monitoring the implementation of the code of sports ethics to empower and encourage physical education and sports teachers and instructors to promote sports ethics in school curricula and refer to the positive contribution of sports to human kind and society to commit in preserving the integrity of sports under threat especially from match fixing trafficking in young sports person and illegal betting to support as far as possible all initiatives aimed at promoting sports ethics particularly among youths and encouraging institutions to make sports ethics a central priority to continue to promote in cooperation with the sports movement the promotion and monitoring of the prevention of racism xenophobia hatred and fear of one another and racial intolerance in sport page number 114 to encourage research both nationally and internationally in order to improve our understanding of the complex issues surrounding young people's involvement in sports and to identify the opportunities for promoting sports ethics 8.4.2 sports related organizations sports related organizations have the following responsibilities a concerning the framework and context of sports ethics to publish clear guidelines on what is considered to be ethical or unethical behavior and to ensure that at all levels of participation and involvement consistent and appropriate incentives and or sanctions are applied to ensure that all decisions have been taken in accordance with the code of ethics for sports to raise awareness of the concept of sports ethics within their sphere of influence by means of campaigns awards educational materials and training opportunities such initiatives should be closely monitored and their impact evaluated to establish systems which reward sports ethics and personal levels of achievement 
in addition to competitive success. To consider and formulate rules governing the right to participate in competitions and the organization of categories in competitions in the light of the principles of sports ethics and to assist and support the mass media in highlighting the contribution made by sports ethics to education and society. B. Concerning work with young people. To ensure that the structure of competition acknowledges the special requirements of growing children and young people and provides the opportunity for graded levels of involvement from recreation to higher level competition. To encourage modification of the rules to meet the physical needs of young people and put the emphasis not only on success in competition but also on sports ethics. To ensure that safeguards are in place within the context of an overall framework of support and protection for children, young male or female, both to protect them from sexual harassment and abuse and to prevent the exploitation of children, those with gifted abilities and children with special needs. Page number 115 to ensure that including those associated with the sports organization who bear the responsibility for children and young people are qualified at an appropriate level to guide, train and educate them. It is also to be ensured that they understand the physiological and psychological changes associated with the child's process of development and that they are familiar with and take into account the emotional and relational functioning of human beings. 8.4.3 Individuals Individuals have the following responsibilities. A. Concerning personal behavior. To behave in a way which sets a good example and presents a positive role model for children and young people. To refrain in all circumstances from rewarding unfair play demonstrating it personally or condoning it in others and to take appropriate sanctions against such behavior and to ensure that their own level of training and qualifications is appropriate to the needs of the child at the different stages of sporting commitment. B. Concerning work with young people To make the health, safety and welfare of the child or young sports persons is the first priority and ensure that such considerations come before everything else that is reputation of the school, club, coach or parents. To extend the initiatives taken by the international federations and organizations in order to promote quality standards in the activity of sports agents. To provide a sporting experience for children that encourages a lifelong commitment to healthy physical activity. To avoid treating children as small adults, but be aware of the physical and psychological changes which accompany their development and how these affect sporting performance. To avoid placing expectations on children which they are unable to meet. To make the participants' pleasure and enjoyment the priority and never exert undue pressure on the child which impinges on their right to freely choose to participate. To take the same level of interest in all young people regardless of their talent and emphasize and reward personal levels of achievement and skill acquisition in addition to competitive success. Page number 116 To be attentive and responsive to children's needs so that each child feels appreciated as an individual irrespective of his or her sporting prowess. To encourage young children a. To devise their own games with their own rules, to take on the roles of coach, teacher, official or referee in addition to that of participant. b. To devise their own incentives and sanctions for fair or unfair play and c. To take personal responsibility for their actions. To provide young people and their families with as much information as possible to ensure awareness of the potential risks and attractiveness of reaching high levels of performance. Activity time now. Activity number 8.3 The intent of this exercise is not to tell you what is right or wrong. 
these are just a few examples of ethical choices that sports provide out of the four options against each example tick one out of four choices remember it is important for you to decide what you will do when faced with these choices be proactive by setting your standards before you get to the heat of the competition now we have a table for you which has six columns the first one is for serial number second for practical examples then clearly ethical the next one is somewhat ethical then somewhat unethical and finally the sixth one clearly unethical now we are giving you some practical examples you have to fill in the blanks you have to fill the columns of clearly ethical somewhat ethical somewhat unethical or clearly unethical in front of the examples given the first example is in a basketball game the coach tells the team to be as physically aggressive as they can and get away with it example number 2 in football a lineman deliberately seeks to inflict pain on an opposing player to intimidate him third practical example at a crucial point in a big game a player fakes an injury to get a needed time out for the team practical example number 4 In tennis the ball is called out though the player is certain it hit the line the player says nothing and takes the point now the final practical example there is a loud appeal for caught behind which was denied by the umpire but the batsman goes back to pavilion as he or she knows his or her bat had touched the ball page number 117 now the next practical example example number 6 a coach uses bad words and personal insults while coaching next example example number 7 in soccer the best player on the other team already has a yellow card as an opponent you deliberately fake a foul hoping that player will be given a red card and removed from the game practical example number 8 the team captain argues with an official intending to influence future calls practical example number 9 coming back from an injury an athlete uses prohibited substances not to get ahead just to get back to where he or she was before the injury practical example number 10 you know your teammate is doping and you do not confront him or her or anonymously report about it example number 11 an athlete takes 25 different supplements with the intent to enhance the performance none of the supplements have any prohibited substances listed on the labeled in text practical example number 12 during a cricket match some of the spectators move into the field and manhandle the umpire because he or she has given lbw decision against a batsman who was in reality not out page number 118 assessment answer the following questions question number 1 explain ethics in sports question number 2 what is the importance of ethics in sports question number 3 write about the various standards of sports ethics question number 4 explain the responsibilities of government regarding sports ethics question number 5 write about the role of sports related organizations with respect to sports ethics fill in the blanks number 1 sports is recognized as an fill in the blank dash activity number 2 sports provides opportunity for dash interaction number 3 ethics morals and values are used dash in daily life number 4 sports ethics signify not just a certain form of dash but also a particular way of dash number 5 code of sports ethics promotes dash and sports dash tick mark either yes or no number 1 truthworthiness is one of the standard of ethics yes or no number 2 governments encourage adopting high ethical standard in society through sports 
Yes or no? Number three. Sports organization formulates rules of the competition in the light of sports ethics. Yes or no? Number four. Always adhere to the high standard of fair play. Yes or no? Number five. There are six standards of fair play. Yes or no? You were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Neeraj Yadav. Technical Coordinator, Buddy Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Vikas Sangwan. Assistants in Production, Ruchi Sharma. Directed and Produced by Vimilesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.